Hi guys, it's Cece, and welcome to my end of 2015 room tour. So I've been saying I'm gonna do this for like a really long time, and um, I didn't have a video for today, so um, I decided to just do this um, because I didn't really have anything else to do, and I'm trying to do two videos per week this month, um, as you probably noticed because it's the end of the month by now. But um, yeah, here we go with my, my room tour. So we are outside of my room and we're actually in my basement because I live downstairs. There's my cat over there. That's Peanut. And you can see a bit of my sewing area. Um, I also have a really big Soul Eater wall scroll out here. Um, I might be getting rid of this soon. Not really sure. It kind of holds a sentimental value in my heart, but um, I kind of want to replace it with a show that I like more. And then on my door I have this dog poster. Um, I've had this for a really long time. Again, kind of sentimental, but I might be getting um, something else soon. Here we go! Okay, so first of all, we have the back of my door. Um, I have a mirror on my door, um, a full-length one. There's a bunch of stuff on it, um, such as a thank you note that I got from an artist and my art teacher sitting on Santa's lap from two years ago and a picture of my best friend. Um, and then I also have um, some art from friends. This one, the Pokemon one, is from my sister. And then the rest is all from various friends. This one is actually what I drew. I drew that for a contest. Um, but I have all this art stuff. And yeah. Also, um my makeup. I did a kind of makeup test for Squiggly today from Skullgirls because I'm going to be doing her for Amki next year. Um, so yeah, if you can't tell, I don't have the face paint yet, so I'm kind of like just flesh toned. But moving on, directly to the right of my door, I have this really big bookshelf. Uh, it has five shelves on it, include well, not including the top. The top, I have a whole crap ton of Pokemon stuff up here. Um, a bunch of really old figures, some plushes, my jumbo Flygon card, and then like my fave Pikachu. Also a couple of cows. You're gonna discover I really like cows. I have a lot of cow things. Moving down to the first shelf here, I have my old camera that I used to use, which I don't really anymore. Um, I have this like fake flower thing. I got it from my grandma, um, and I believe the vase is from Germany, so it's really special to me. And then um, I have a whole ton of manga, which also goes on to the second shelf here. Um, also, you will notice that there's like two stacks of cards right here, of Pokemon cards. Um, I'm working on selling some of my stuff that I don't use anymore. I also have a couple little Hamtaro guys over here and my It Stays, which is my sock glue, um, is hanging out up here. Also my X-Acto knife. Also on this shelf is this really lovely full art Mew that I pulled the other day. I actually already have this. So um, self-plugging, if you guys um, want to trade for this Mew, hit me up and I'll let you know what I'm looking for. Um, I'm only trading for equal value or greater value, I guess. Um, so if you have an EX or full art for trade, let me know and um, I will see if I need it for any of my sets. Onto the sh second shelf, like I said, I have a whole bunch more um, manga, and behind my makeup brushes here I have a couple DVDs. I have Adventure Time Season 4, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, and the DMMD soundtrack. Up here I have Steam Powered Giraffe's fourth album, Vice Quadrant, and under these Pokemon cards um, I have a Galaxy Chic eyeshadow palette. This big guy right here is my bin of makeup. Um, He's kind of really huge and I don't have anywhere to put it, so it just hangs out here and it'll probably stay here until I run out of room for manga. I also have this little guy that I got at Wizard World Comic Con this year, so he's pretty cute. Down to shelf three. Um, this is more of my normal books, I suppose, and then these are all yearbooks right here. Um, so behind my Vaporeon, um, I have some Hunger Games books and like other normal person books, I suppose. And then I have a few figure boxes here that I just don't really have space for anywhere else. And then these are two of my favorite things. Um, the Complete Tales of Edgar Allan Poe and a giant Alice in Wonderland book. They're both really nice. I got them at Barnes & Noble, I believe. Down to shelf four. Um, we have just a couple normal person books here. These are like really white girl kind of books. I have the entire Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series and also The Summer I Turned Pretty and then The Maze Runner and Scorch Trials. Over here, this is a little book of some of my 
um, ultra rares that don't go into any of my sets, so um, these are just kind of ones that I want to hang on to but don't have anywhere to put. And then literally all of this is all figure boxes. Um, I have a bunch of Nendroid boxes behind these, and then my Sonica one, and my um, Haruka one. And finally down to the last shelf, god this is taking forever, um, this is where I keep all my Pokemon cards. As you can see I have quite a few binders. Um, I actually just recently got back into collecting. This used to be a lot more messy, but most of my cards I'm selling because they're like commons and I have duplicates of them. Um, but currently I am collecting um, Dragon's Exalted I'm almost done with. Um, same with Boundaries Crossed. I'm also doing um, Primal Clash and Roaring Skies and Legendary Treasures and then um, Plasma Freeze and Plasma Storm. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm doing right now with uh, Pokemon stuff. Finally moving away from my bookshelf, um, over here, you guys probably see some of this in my videos. Um, I have some Amiyami cards on the side of my bookshelf here, um, and yeah, those I've just accumulated over the year. And then this uh, little lady up here, I got from Anime Milwaukee this year for competing, and I don't really know who she is or what she does, but I thought she was cute, so I put her up. Down here is just kind of a bunch of stuff. There's a couple of binders and my yearbook from last year, um, some makeup things, some books, and yeah, and we just don't talk about that. And this is probably what you guys are more used to seeing. Um, this is my closet, and yep. Up here I have my Rilakkuma plush, and on my closet I keep all my business cards that I pick up at conventions, so um, these are all ones that I've gotten just this year. So as you can see I get kind of a lot. Over here I have a uh, <laughs> an Esper picture that I printed off the internet because I thought it was funny. Um, and then I have this sticker that I almost put on my laptop but I decided that I was not ready for that step so um, I just taped it onto my closet because it's really funny. And then this here is of the play that we did at my school this fall. I do stage crew if you guys weren't aware, I do lighting. Um, so I was really proud of this show and I got to keep one of the show posters so that was really cool. And then hanging in my closet I keep my convention bag and my two purses. I would go into my closet but there's kind of a lot of stuff in there so I think I'm going to save that for another time. It's mostly just cosplay stuff. Moving to the right of my closet I have a giant stack of figure boxes. Um, and yeah, right here where those cows are I usually have my um, laundry bin but I'm actually doing laundry right now so that's upstairs. I have a couple of clear files on the wall, as well as this really cool rabbit drawing that my friend did. She didn't like it, but I thought it was really cool, um, so I got it. Over here I have a couple of stuffed animals, as well as my two Idolmaster figures. Um, on the wall is a really homestuck trash piece of art that I did, I think about two years ago. I was thinking about taking it down, but I really liked how the crayons melted, so I just kind of left it, even though it's trash. And then over here I have a shadow box, and um... On top of it I have a couple Nendroids, and then below I have some stuff I got um, in school. I actually got a varsity letter for performing so well in academics, and you also get this little pin thing, so I thought that was kind of cool, so I put it in there. And then over here I have a whole bunch of stuff on my dresser, so I'm gonna pan through that I guess. Up here I have a couple plushes, and this is a solar powered Rilakkuma, and he kind of bobs his head back and forth, it's really cute. This I made in ceramics, homestuck trash. Um, this is my bamboo plant called Shihiro. Um, this is my trophy that I won at Daishokan with Aaron for placing first in the beginner category, so that was really cool. Um, this guy is my lucky cat, and then I also made this Espeon in ceramics. This is something spooky that I got at Michael's that I just really liked, so I never took it down. And then I have this little cow box that I also made in ceramics. Going down to my dresser, this is where stuff gets real intense because this is where all my figures are. Um, back here I have a framed Miku and Luka puzzle, which um, I thought it was really cute, so yep. And then I have a Totoro plush, a little Shiba Inu thing that I got two years ago. Um, and then my friend made me the Squiddle, which again is Homestuck trash, but it's really cute. And then I have a bunch of um, figures up here. The newest one is my Harvest Moon Miku, she's super cute. And she's probably one of my favorites right now. Back here I have a picture of my sister and I as kids, and a Pokeball keychain type thing, and a Club Nintendo calendar that's actually for 2013, but I just used the side with pictures on it, because um, I think it's cute. 
going over to the little top tier, I guess, of my uh, dresser. The only things to note here are all my figures that I have up here. Um, I'm also really digging this Kaito. He's really cute. I like him a lot. Going uh, over here to this wall, which is facing away from my closet. My closet is directly behind me right now. Um, I have a couple plushes, uh, a couple figures. This is actually a mixture of two figures because Noise comes with two heads and Sonico comes with two bodies. So I put them together because I thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> and then I have some Madoka Magica figures and then this like jewelry hand and all my jewelry, which, which is really ridiculous. And I hardly wear any of it, but you know. And then my Magical Wars pin and some more plushes and this wall scroll. And backing up even more, down here I have a whole bunch of plushes. Um, the ram, my friend made for me, she has a shop which I can link down below. She makes rams and sheep and all kinds of cute stuff. Then I have a sky bison and a mochi cat and, um, let's see. I have a floating pink whale from Steven Universe and that yellow thing is a square Jake from Adventure Time and then a frickin' Homestuck Trash Smuppet. Um, my friend Erin made all three of these, and they're really cute. Going um, over towards my bed, I have a ton of cows right here. There's like four cows all right in that area. Two Meowchi. The bottom one is the candy corn version, and the top one is the mango version. Then I have a Pusheen that I got for Valentine's Day, a solar-powered Maneki Neko, um, this cat bank, a Fennec Fox, and a disapproval Meowchi, and this detangling spray is still in here for some reason. Um, and then this is just a jumble of crap. While we're on my bed, this is my laptop, which you might have seen in a recent video. Um, it's really over-decorated, but I like it, so, um, yep. Um, here I have a whiteboard, like, right next to my bed, and I put all of my, um, to upload things on this, I guess. So, um, all the dates and such that I'm uploading things are on here. So this kind of gives away, um, about what, what day it is. Um, I'm recording this kind of far in advance. It's actually December 3rd today, so, you know, um, but yeah, there's that. Up here I have a couple of prints from Solo Grayson, and then I have this uh, limited edition Kid Icarus Uprising poster I got from Club Nintendo. Down here is another Solo Grayson print, and up in the corner on the left, the gray one, is something that my friend drew me for my birthday, or painted for me, I guess, and then up there the other QB one. I got from a convention. Behind my bed here, there's kind of a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the most notable things are the prints I have up on my wall. I have two prints from Disney and one from Mango Sirene. And then my bulletin board is just kind of full of buttons, keychains, and cute things I want to hang on to, as well as all my convention badges on the right there. I also have a little bub calendar. She's super cute. She's best. Then I have these two prints over here, a Manimal Crossing print, which I thought was the most hilarious thing in the world and a Oki Kaspi um, print of her and Kiki's delivery service cosplay stuff. It's really cute. Alright, almost back to my door now. Um, these two things are certificates for my black belts that I've earned. I've actually earned two black belts in Taekwondo. Um, as you can see over here, these are all my, my underbelts that I've earned over the years. And then up here is actually a Rin keychain. Here I have a limited edition Skyward Sword poster that came with the Kid Icarus one from Club Nintendo. And then this is my desk. Um, I just kind of have a bunch of figures on here. I don't actually do any work on my desk because I'm trash. Um, then over here I keep my game systems. Under my Nagisa there's actually a Game Boy SP which is cool. Game Boy Advance SP. Um, and then I just have a couple other things. Packing tapes, some letters from friends, some other stuff, and more pictures of Rachel. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my room. Um, I will probably be doing another one next summer. I'm actually moving to college next summer, um, so that might be the last real chance I have to do an actual room tour because all my stuff will be like all moved around and stuff, so um, we'll see what happens with that. But I hope you guys are having a great winter break if you don't have school right now, that's awesome. Um, happy holidays, and I will see you next time. Bye!